told that this bill is not an amnesty bill, yet the fact is it allows millions of illegal aliens to assume residence in this country because they broke our laws to get here. The number commonly heard is 12 million. However, there's credible studies out there that indicate there may be as many as 20 million. This is a slap on the face to the million of, of legal immigrants like myself who came on the boat and waited and processed at the American consulate abroad and came in legally and served the United States in the military, came back from Korea and joined the Border Patrol. And I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of my country, but I'm not proud of this bill. That is a great man, you, you Brian. He's in the National Association of Former Border Patrol Officers. They had a big meeting today to talk about amnesty and the big lie. They called Bush a liar. They called Kennedy a liar. They called Dodd a liar. They called every senator a liar up and down the line. And these are men who are former Border Patrol officers, top of the heap. They know amnesty when they hear it. They know the A word. And they know that we're dealing with mandarins, liars. Listen to clip eight. In 1986, during my watch, in Washington, as chief of the board patrol, when IRCA was enacted, it was a travesty. Senators Kennedy and Schumer, the same guys who are pushing it today, said at the time, amnesty would be a one-time only cure-all. Well, let me tell you, fraud was rampant. And our masters, our mandarins said, after a few years, it, it diminished. And we were uh, not allowed. All right. to now you got the, the horse's mouth here, so to speak. He knows that it's a big lie, and you must stop that. Stop the amnesty. We're going to get back to this, but I want to go back to the nuclear suitcases and whether they can actually be set off. Dennis in Charleston, welcome to.